In the South Valley, CAL FIRE crews continue to assess the damage from last month's powerful storms. Here's a look at the latest numbers now. 38 homes, businesses, and other buildings in Tulare County have been destroyed in the flooding. More than 1,200 structures received some sort of water damage, and almost 24,000 buildings are still in danger of flooding as the mountain snow continues to melt. Families in Woodlake are doing their best to rebuild and remain hopeful for financial support. Action News South Valley reporter Eliza Navarro shares the message from Valley Congressman Jim Costa, who got a first-hand look at that damage today. About a month ago, this avenue in Woodlake was several feet underwater, flooding dozens of homes. Now, residents welcomed us into their homes to show us the reality that they're facing. And Congressman Jim Costa was also here and wants residents to know that help could be on its way. At one point in our time in the last month, 16 million Californians have been uh, living under this horrific floods and snow conditions. Congressman Jim Costa made rounds in Tulare County this week, taking a closer look at the devastation caused by recent storms. On Wednesday, he was in Cutler, and on Friday, he toured several impacted homes in Wood Lake. Uh, outside of a home, it was probably a little over to our waist. One of the homes belongs to Josh Diaz, who says he's still in shock and disbelief. He remembers waking up at 5 a.m. about a month ago when flood water surrounded his home. A little bit of water on the tile, muddy water, and the carpet bubbling up. It was surreal. I didn't know what to think of it. And then whenever I looked at the front door, the front door was literally seeping with water. It was a lake outside, and the water was up to the frame of the window. During the last four weeks, he and his wife have tossed nearly everything in their home. We were able to save some clothing, um, but we're literally living out of a suitcase. The drywall was also cut to avoid mold forming like in his garage. I'm not going to let my children come here until this house is a home again. Diaz's neighbors are also doing what they can to rebuild. The Saragosa family is installing new drywall, but not everyone impacted has the means to recover. For what's said for me, and I have to speak about my community because it's not only me, some are living in their homes like this right now. And it's sad because they're living with mold in their homes. They're living just, they're, they're living in their homes waiting for help. President Joe Biden recently approved a disaster declaration in California that will make federal funding available. Costa says it's essential people impacted by the flood complete the property damage report form. Everything possible to make sure that uh, we uh, can uh, financially uh, reimburse people for their losses. I want to invest in Woodlake, but I want Woodlake to invest in us as well. Diaz tells me he did apply for a FEMA loan and hopes to hear back soon. In Woodlake, Eliza Navarro, ABC 30 Action News.